Hello everybody, it's Rywar9, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'm super excited, so let's just get straight into it. Whoop, boop, boop, boop. Yes, indeed. We are going to be playing on the Ultra Spicy Mode difficulty, only for connoisseurs. Galactic Date 20XX. The far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. It does have audio, but... Kopai. Booming, booming population, booming appetites, basic lack of planning. Yeah, well, yeah, that would... that You know, if you just ate other food, it would be good. But, you know... Actually, I'm also wondering the size of this, this planet. Because, you know, good old... Good old, uh, Olimar in... And toe are like the size of ants and whatnot, so it does beg to question the size of their their food. Anyways, back to the story here. <laughs> they were searching for food, and they found it. So they go and they grab, I believe, I think they grab Brittany from that that moon or planet. I think it's a moon. Three intrepid explorers. Got Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Oh, man. Look at all these planets. Voiding rocks. Classic. That is a lot of light years. It is. It always happens. It always happens. Kaboom! Horribly wrong. It just explode. That's pretty bad. But they go into comets. I don't think they would be able to survive the the re-entry, but Pikmin 3 Deluxe. But yes, I'm super excited. This is gonna be such a such a fun let's play. I love the Pikmin series and I'm super psyched for the fourth one. Uh anyways, exploration day one, 844 AM. Charlie's crash site. Oh man. Org. Hmm. What happened? So people who are? Meh. Meh. That's right. Our faithful captain is here. Good ol- Oh, oh where am I? Last thing I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Ah, hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Anyways, Captain Charlie. Yes, because alliteration is our friend. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they've survived. Me too, Charlie. Me too. Anyways, tutorial time. Move with the L stick. That's right. If you get stuck in story mode, just press the up arrow to view a strategy hand. Ooh, you can hide them by going to more and other settings and setting the hint display. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> What in the... Yeah, there's more of them. Oh, gosh. These things are terrifying. So strange. So strange. This planet's mushrooms are huge. See, these guys are tiny, tiny. I seem to wandered into a strange neighborhood. Well... Ow! Oh, why are they coming closer? I... I know. Well, I'll scare him away. Whistle. I'm surrounded. Yes. Wacha-cha-cha. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, I am playing on a pro controller. As, you know, the Wiimote's fun and all, but I seem to struggle with the Wiimote. So, you know, I just go with the pro controller. Anyways, they don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B to throw them with air. Wait, 
pressing B to... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pretend I read that correctly. Whistle with B, throw with A. Anyways, I mean Joy-Cons. You can't actually use Wiimotes on this. But, yeah. Anyways. We take these down. So, yeah, we get to have these little... Oh, wait, there was more in the back. It's very important we go back and get everybody. Let's see. Pressing ZL changes the camera. I don't think there's anything else back there for us to worry about at the moment. So, yeah. So we can hold a guy... We can throw him. What enormous mushrooms. But yes, yeah, so the premise is we're tiny space astronauts trying to 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 get fruit. Food, I guess in general, but fruit is is the main the main uh, whatchamacallit, the main focus of the game. Compared to the previous two games where it was ship parts and then treasure. So, how are our intrepid explorers going to go? Our what? How are our intrepid explorers going to last at this plant or handle this planet? Take that! Oh, oh, oh! They're getting in. Take that! Oh man, they explode! Man, funny. They don't like life. Which I guess makes sense for for these creatures. These are actually like behemoths, uh, not behemoths, they're like, they're a type of bat, I believe. Anyways, oh, all the Pikmin run away, and Charlie makes a face of undescribable terror. Anyways, uh, exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. at Alf's crash site, two minutes later. <laughs> two, you know... It took a little longer for Alf to land. But it is bright, man. And not snowy. And that was our ship. I'm just saying. I don't think they would survive the the entry. You know, the heat that would just burn them up. It would it would not be good. It would it would absolutely be bad for them. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Alf. Yeah, it's Alfie. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. I don't know why he's talking to himself in the third person, but, you know, that just gives us the the uh, exposition that we need. Anyways, now Alf is seeing some wackamadoodle there. I wonder what that was. What was that? Yes, what was that indeed, Alfie? What is it? We must follow it. We weren't being very stealthy. To be honest, if I was in Alf's situation, I'd be a little more stealthier. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. All the more reason you should be stealthy. Hmm. And what's that stuck on the branch? Indeed what? Ha! We whistle, and then we can lock on, lock on, lock on. Oh, ZR to lock on. I was pressing Z up. And then you throw them, and they fall. And then... It... Explodes. And... Then it stands. <laughs> I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Well, you didn't even try biting it yet. No less, the red fellas seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Now wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for the those two missing. Yeah, we can't just, we can't just, uh, you know, oh, we can look around. Yes. Yes, tutorial time. We get a lot of tutorials at the game, at, at the beginning of the game. Hmm, what's that pile of rubble? Indeed what it is, Alf. Anyways, we can grab these... We can have these little little guys grab the bridge. And then... Oh, man, they keep running into each other. Boom. Oh. What's that? A convenient story plot? Uh, my co-pad! Thank goodness I found it. 
it could, I can use it to locate the SS Drake. <laughs> they always go Drake. <laughs> okay, and they are automated. So these these little guys are are like ants, right? So they they go and do a task that you assign them, and they kind they they automate so they go back and forth. It's quite cool. Anyways, we'll let them do that while we. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can climb up that. Question is why not? Anyways, this is uh. The first thing that you would want to come and look at while you wait. You let them do all that and you can see a cool little uh, mural here. It's almost built. Uh, but you know, if you want to be more efficient, you can grab them and and throw them to make them a little quicker. Yep, and now they can go. And you can also push them as well. But I normally just seem to hinder them, so. Yeah. Anyways, they're heading back over that way, and we can continue forward. Anyways, we can also call them from a quite the distance. Ba -ba -da! Woo! We found something! <laughs> the Pikmin were all just in a line there. Map data loading. Hmm, great! It still works! Of course, I expect nothing less from the Copiot Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Hmm, use the L to check your surroundings. Look, a fruit. Look at this, you can zoom in, you can see green dots, you can see signals. I should follow that signal. I wonder where the signal is. It could be anywhere. Oh, could be anywhere. <laughs> could be anywhere. <laughs> you can look at all the map. It's kind of interesting that they just show you the whole map instantly. But it makes sense. They took pictures while crash landing. Anyways, aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members, Cleo, are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Yes, indeed, Elf. You must. Hmm, now, now we can start exploring with the help of the co-pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Yes, we can use the, the, the most important feature. Taking pictures. Anyways, um, is that red thing food? Well, let's find out. So, it seems to be those guys. Oh, okay, I'll just let him handle that. Um, and why he's doing that, I'll grab the, oh, I forgot. Yep, you gotta go in. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. I forgot, you can't actually move with the camera, which is absolutely strange, but you can't do first person, first person Pikmin. Anyways, you bring back those those red things, aka red pellets, and they um, sprout more Pikmin. So it's a very simple game of, of growing up numbers so that you can do more things with the Pikmin. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Let's see if I can't figure out this camera. So, because I, I can't move. <laughs> right? It was it was over here, right? Eh. Eh. I will take a picture of this mural if it's the last thing I do. Yes. Yes. So you can zoom in and then you can you can autofocus and then how do I how do, picture? Boom. <laughs> and it saves to your Nintendo Switch. Just in case you wanted to save that for later. Anyways, you go up and you pluck them with A. And we can see these are, in fact, red Pikmin. They've got noses. Ah, I see. So this is how thing, how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Yes, go up to them and sprout them from the earth. Uproot them. Yes. So you can just press A once and then you do that. But you know, if you go this, you just, you press A and then B and then A and then B, you just instantly pluck the next one. It's super great and super fast. I probably will use that in the future, but. Yeah. Okay. Um, so these are female shear grubs. Oh, I gotta rearrange here. There we go. And that is a big fiver. If you couldn't tell, it has to have five Pikmin on it. See, the Peliposes are, are interesting species as 
You know they. Oh goodness. Uh, come on, one one of you. One of you get off there and boom. Anyways, yeah, the pellet posies are interesting species as they've they've um, grown to have numbers implanted on them. You know, I wouldn't. I specifically wouldn't uh, just put uh, the number of things that or a number of creatures it takes to to carry uh, me. To be honest. Maybe it's because the number would be uh, a little too high, but, you know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anyways, I'm just going to press A here, and we can just let little Alf here pluck these uh, pick them in. And yeah, it's going to be super good. We're getting the Pikmin and doing the things, and then I haven't even talked about this box. Go! So yeah, we can lock onto things and charge and all the Pikmin go towards the box. This box has a 20 on it, just like the pellets. It's the amount of Pikmin it needs to, to push the box. So yeah, what's that? Indeed, what is that strange glowing item box? Looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. I don't know how they have data in like a physical well, I guess flash drives are a physical format of data, but I don't know how they have it glowing and spinning and you just hover over it and it reads the data. I don't know. You know, this is space technology. Anyways, the onion is like a nest. Sorry, this is, <coughs> this is Pikminology number one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Hopefully that isn't as... That, that voice wasn't like Charlie's, because that, that wasn't Charlie who was speaking. Um, anyways, I'm not very good with voices, if you can tell, but I do my best. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Oh, I guess he couldn't fourth wall break and see the red Pikmin icon. But anyways, this information might come in handy later on. So I'll save it in the, the copad's exploration notes. Okay, you do that. So, yeah, we've got... All these little icons here and you know they're very useful very useful I'll barely go to these but you know very useful I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file so who did it yeah see see definitely not Charlie could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet well we don't know that that's a, a mystery you know Brittany's also on the planet maybe she wrote it you didn't even talk about Brittany didn't even talk about Brittany Anyways, uh, mm, wow, those are massive. Also, we didn't even get to see the file. So if you want to come and see the file, you see what the heck we got. We have to go all the way in here. And then we go all there. And then we can see using the radar number two. You can change the orientation and other settings. Okay. See how useful that was? Oh, boy. That was so useful. Oh. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? How about you look at, like, these little guys? These guys are, like, almost, well, I guess maybe not intelligent. Well, actually, yeah, actually, they're intelligent. You know, ants are intelligent, and these guys are like ants. They're just, just, you know, they, what they make, what they lack in strength, they make up in numbers. And their numbers equal their strength. Hmm, I hope the Drake is okay. Drake? Indeed, it probably is. All we have to do is go to it. <gasps> there it is! The SS Drake! Cool, man. We found it. Hmm. The copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? This is a mystery for all. Quite indeed. <gasps> I'm receiving a call? Incoming transmission! Who could it be? Who could it be? Another intelligent life form! Oh my gosh! Alf, it's me, Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness! You're with the SS Drake, right? Hmm. I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere! And I'm starving! Oh no! We got cut off! I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound and starving. Also, why didn't you just try calling her again? 
What's that strange sound? What is the sound indeed? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Hmm. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Okay! Off the planet's surface, because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave the surface because of you. <laughs> You weird sounds, yes. But yes, that is day one of Pikmin 3. As now, we get to hear the amazing end credit or end credits. Yep, yeah, that's the end of the game, everybody. Oh, man, they left a lot of plot holes just out in the yard. What happened to Charlie? Is Brittany okay? Is Alf just going to leave Brittany out as an intelligent life being? Oh, who knows? Anyways, most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing, so we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. This is tragic. And then Alf drinks the whole thing. Ah oh, man, what greedy. How greedy, you know? Then tomorrow I'll have to find some local food. Drink the whole thing. Goodness gracious. Anyways, we can see our statistics for the day, and we can use the radar in the replay to fine-tune the what happened. And the, yeah, so we can hit play, and then we can uh, how do I change? There, we hit the X button, and we can we can we can fast forward a bit. Super good. We can see everything that's happened. It's so good. Can I? How fast can I go? Oh, there we go. There we go. And we can back up, and we can go forward and back and forward and back and forward. <laughs> And apparently it took 13 minutes to get through that whole thing. Wow. Cool, cool. And then we get a nice end of the day letter. Yes. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I look off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Signed. Alf. Yes, indeed, we will. We will find Brittany. Hopefully, the other life form. <laughs> she, because he talks about Charlie, but doesn't talk about Brittany. Oh, anyways, that is a good ending spot. So I'm gonna be doing this um, for the every day. Uh, it'll be it'll be a day day thing. Yeah, that makes instead of episodic. It'll, well, it's it's not yet. Yeah, it's right. It's, I, I'm getting stuck in logistics. Anyways. That is it for this time, and thank you all for watching. If you want to see a co-op Let's Play I did of Pikmin 3 Deluxe with my good friend MechamanW6, that is on our group channel, and hopefully I link it in the description here. So <laughs> hopefully it's in the description uh, uh, if you want to see that. But anyways, until next time, everybody, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>